Sagittarius, this is going to be your March reading from the 8th to the 14th. Thank you so much for all the subscribes, all the likes, all the comments, all the views, and the support on the channel. So please remember that the oracle cards go here, which are all you, the tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you. You'll probably show up over here as well. So use your instinct to decide who the cards would apply to when I pull them. Your first instinct is probably the best choice. And use your, um, who the, you can reverse the masculine and feminine on the cards. If you feel like I'm applying a card to you and you're like, no, that would be the other person, then feel free to vice versa that. So the first one that comes up for you is 11, Inspiration. So this talks about you wanting to take a new path. You feel like you need to find something to make your life happier. You feel like you need to heal from something, that you've come out of a difficult time and you want to go a new direction. You're not sure which way you want to go, but you feel like you're ready for something different. So freedom. So freedom talks about a change that makes you happier. You feel like you really want inspiration, but you also want freedom. You want to be free with your emotions, I feel. You want to be free with the choices you want to make, that you want to have people around you that support the choices and the direction you want to go and what you want to do. And it does talk a lot about going to your higher power. Whatever that is for you can help you. So have a lot of faith. The next one is heart healing number five. So you have 11, 6, and 5. So this talks about a uh, broken heart. You're still mending a broken heart. You feel like love slipped through your hands or a situation and didn't work out. And you are still trying to repair that. I see a lot of healing that you feel like you can be free. You can heal from that. But you're still in the process of doing that. So the first one that comes out for you is Princess of Swords. Princess of Swords is spying. There's a lot of spying going on where somebody wants to communicate, somebody watching someone's social media. So Ten of Swords. Somebody feels like they were betrayed. Somebody feels like they were just had ten swords put in their back. So Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is somebody who's very honest, very loving, very nurturing, very motherly. So the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is somebody who's very high intuition, somebody who knows things. This person probably has past um, life knowledge. This is somebody who can be very cold. They say things how they mean them. They don't sugarcoat things. She doesn't lie. She doesn't mislead people. So wow, you have a lot of female energy in here. Look at this again, Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands talks about somebody putting boundaries up. Somebody has put boundaries up and guards up to, to somebody spying and somebody having um, a betrayal. So King of Swords. So King of Swords is somebody else getting involved now that is doing spying that wants to communicate as well. So I do feel like Sagittarius, you have um, talked to somebody, now you have brought somebody else into a situation how you have some betrayal and spying on a, another female and you've brought a male into the situation now to agree with you. So the Hermit. So this could be Virgo placement. This talks about how Virgos get clarity. Virgos can get clarity like that. It kind of matches the High Priestess. So the Queen of Cups could be saying that when you pull away from a situation, clarity comes to you. When you're alone, you get your answers. So Queen of Wands. Wow, there's so many Queens in here and just one King. So the Queen of Wands is somebody, again, who's very honest, very action-orientated. I feel like the Queen of Wands is healing. I do feel like... I feel like there's almost some competition in there. I feel like the Queen of Wands wants to compete with another queen. She's She wants to compete to heal up for something. There's something she needs to heal from, and she feels competition will heal it. So Ten of Wands is talking about taking your what you're going to do and moving in a new direction. So the Queen of Wands I feel like wants to say something, she wants to voice something and then she wants to move. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like somebody's taking their burdens and going somewhere else. 
So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now, Sagittarius. Well, one of the cards fell. I guess I'm going to pick it up and put it back in the deck, see if it comes out. All right, so the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now is Earth Kitten. So the universe is going to send something in to help you. They're going to send a friend. They're going to send an opportunity. Some sort of opportunity is coming in to help you. The next one is Sky King. So Sky King is somebody very cold, somebody who watches you, somebody who feels like they're better than you, I feel. They have a lot of air energy in them, so a lot of coldness. So then you have Six of Earth. Six of Earth is you helping somebody, I feel like, or somebody helping you. So there's some sort of situation where you help somebody, I feel, and they were very cold. So Demon Cat, wow. So this could be Capricorn placement, but this is masculine energy that is very angry, very toxic. So the Emperor. So the Emperor is... Aries placement. This is somebody who could be narcissist. We have where we have the Capricorn, these two together. I feel like this is somebody who's a narcissist. Somebody who's very, um, their pride and ego is very high. They think they're entitled. They just think they're better than a lot of people. Wow. So then you have C. Tom. So C. Tom is somebody who's a charmer. Somebody who comes in, they're very cold, and they charm you to get what they want, and then they're gone. So Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth is telling me there's some sort of illusion around family structure. Some sort of instinct with family. Something going on. Betrayal. So the lover situation. So the lover situation could be Gemini placement. I do feel like there's some sort of illusion in a lover situation. Somebody's a narcissist. So I do feel like somebody's lying to a family about their love situation. So eight of fire, somebody blaming other people. So I do see somebody is blaming other people for something going on. Three of C. So they're talking to their friends. They're telling their friends, woe is me. This happened to me. It's their fault. So five of sky is family being conflicted, family going after one person, making one person defend themselves. I feel like a group of people on one person. And then the Empress. So I do feel like there's a lover situation concerning an Empress, a mother figure. This could be a new beginning. This is somebody who's very nurturing, very loving in the mother energy. New beginning, for sure. So Seven of C is denial. There's some sort of denial that's right in front of somebody's face and they're failing to look at it. It is going over the blame. So somebody's blaming somebody and people aren't seeing this. They're in denial about it. So the world. So the world is somebody's life changing. Somebody feels like something can change, but I feel like they're in denial and they don't understand how they can change a situation. I feel like it's drawn me over to this freedom card where somebody can heal themselves and make themselves free, but they don't understand. So this is Eight of Earth card. Eight of Earth to me is my um, Misery Loves Company card. These are people who follow another person who teaches them bad things. It could be people who gossip together. I feel like people who um, just keep repeating the same bad thing over and over, whatever that may be. So Three of Sky. So Three of Sky is mischievous friends. These are third party situations. So I do feel like somebody is having a third party situation, somebody is cheating in a relationship I feel and people are in denial about it. The family's in denial is what I feel. They don't they don't think the person is cheating. So I feel like somebody's trying to tell a family member that somebody's cheating and the family's saying, Oh, and you don't know what you're talking about, they're not cheating, but I feel like somebody is. So Oracle of E is laser beam. So laser beam talks about something going the light shining on the dark. So something is going to be lit up. The laser beam is going to shine on something. Right side up. Right side up is 